Lesson 12, Using Properties to Simplify Expressions. So there is a property that we've talked about before called the commutative property of addition and the commutative property of multiplication. An example um, of the commutative property of addition, which you can write using capital letters CPOA, is A plus B equals B plus A. So if A is 2 and B is 3, we can say that 2 plus 3 equals 3 plus 2, and that's an example using the numbers 2 and 3 of the commutative property of addition. The commutative property of multiplication is that A times B equals B times A. So again, if A is 2 and B is 3, then we can say that 2 times 3 equals 3 times 2. We also have the associative property of addition and multiplication. And you can write the associative property of addition using the capital letters A, P, O, A. And here's an example. If we have A plus B plus C equals A plus B plus C. Now the key to the associative property is that the order of the numbers do not change. So if we group the first two numbers and add the last, it's going to be the same as if we add the last two and then add the first. So here's an example if A is 1 and B is 2 and C is 3. Then we can say 1 plus 2, if we add that first and then 3, is going to equal the same thing that if we add 2 plus 3 first and then 1. Now the associative property of multiplication, which we can write APOM with capital letters, again we're going to have the same order of numbers A, B, and C. And if we multiply the first two and then the last, we get the same answer as if we multiply the last two and then the first. So here's an example. If we multiply two times three and then times four, it's the same thing as if we multiply three times four and then two. So this is the associative property. The next property that we're going to go over is called the identity property of addition and multiplication. So we can call that IPOA for the identity property of addition. That just says that um, if we take a number and we add zero, then that number keeps its identity, which is A. So here's an example. If A were three, we could just add zero to keep the identity of three. For the identity property of multiplication, that just means that when we multiply by one, we get to keep the identity. So A stays the same, just equal to A. And here's an example. 9 times 1 equals 9. Now because when we add 0 it stays the same, 0 is called the additive identity. You guys, everyone say additive identity. And because we multiply by 1 to get the same answer, then 1 is called the multiplicative identity. Everyone say multiplicative. It's a cool word. I really like saying that. Say it again. Multiplicative. Okay. So zero is the additive identity. One is the multiplicative identity. 
Now, in order to use properties to simplify expressions, we, I'm going to give you an example of one. And what you do is you write down the problem that is given. Okay, so here's the problem that is given. Now, I want to add the constant 16 and 4. But before I do that, I need to switch the 3x and the 16. When we change the order in addition, that is called the commutative property of addition. Then I'm going to add the 16 and 4 together um, by putting parentheses around it, and that's the associative property of addition. Then we perform the addition and we get 3x plus 20, and we just write what we did. We added 16 and 4. That's the end of the lesson.